Hello, everyone. Today, we would like to introduce our work, Intra, 3D Intracranial Aneurysm Data Set for Deep Learning. This work was finished by Xiang, Dingxia, Tai Chi Kin, and Takeo Igarashi, from the University of Tokyo and South China University of Technology. In this work, we proposed an open dataset of 3D surface models of intracranial aneurysms. They were manually reconstructed from medical images by neurosurgeons. We developed interactive tools for the segmentation of 3D aneurysms. We evaluated the performance of various state-of-the-art 3D deep learning methods on our dataset. Currently, the primary treatment method of intracranial aneurysm is clipping the neck of an aneurysm to prevent it from rupturing. The segmentation of aneurysm is crucial for surgical planning. However, in previous work, the study of 2D MRI images confines the selection to 3D neural networks based on pixels and voxels, which also emits the information from manifolds. Therefore, we introduce an open access 3D intracranial aneurysm dataset that makes the application of points based and mesh based models available. Our dataset includes three types of models. 103 3D models of entire brain vessels are collected by reconstructing scanned 2D MRI images of patients. 1909 blood vessel segments are generated automatically from the complete models. 116 aneurysm segments are divided and annotated manually by medical experts. For our data processing pipeline, first, medical experts reconstructed complete 3D surface models of the entire brain from MRA images using commercial software. Then, the segments are generated and annotated by our tools. Data clean and remeshing are conducted as the requirement of mesh based methods. Our interactive annotation tool allows users to annotate the boundary of aneurysms by clicking several points along the boundary. It significantly improved the efficiency of manual annotation compared with existing commercial tools. We selected state-of-the-art surface-based deep learning methods as the benchmarks of classification and segmentation of our dataset. Classification takes a vessel fragment as input and classifies it into those with or without aneurysms. Segmentation takes a fragment as input and segment it into aneurysm parts and the rest. We selected six methods for binary classification benchmarks, including point .NET, point .NET++, point .CNN, Spider CNN, Sonnet, DGCNN. Point .NET++ has the highest accuracy of aneurysms, and point .CNN has the greatest accuracy of artery and F1 score. Although the accuracy of classification is high, the fragments contained incomplete or small-sized aneurysms are hard to distinguish from healthy blood vessels. We selected 11 networks, point .GRID, two kinds of SSCNs, point .NET, Two kinds of point .NET++, point .conv, point .CNN, Spider CNN, Mesh CNN, and Sonnet, to provide segmentation benchmarks. Sonnet showed excellent performance on IOU and DSC of aneurysms, while point .conv had the best result on blood vessels. Here are our additional observations. Most models were segmented excellent. Spatially nearby vessels and aneurysms were successfully separated, showing the effectiveness of geodesic information used in surface-based methods. However, the accuracy dropped when the aneurysm occupied a small size ratio of the fragment. More challenges are on common shapes which are also extremely required in clinical practice, the existing models had not high performance. Meanwhile, Mesh CNN shown different features, it segmented every aneurysm decently although the overall performance is not best. We would like to thank Ahmed supported this research. Our dataset can be accessed by scanning this QR code. That's all, thank you.